In the foothills above California's Sacramento Valley, 640 acres of land owned by the Cortina Band of Wintoon Indians lies nearly empty. Most of the Cortina members live elsewhere, but their land is part of a national land use debate that has set tribes across the country against their neighbors. State and local laws regulate environmentally hazardous land use projects, yet across the country developers are finding ways to skirt local land use laws by building on Indian reservations. In 2007, the Cortina Band began leasing more than 70 percent of its land to an outside company to build a landfill. The company plans to truck up to 1,500 tons of municipal waste every day, burying the trash in canyons. Ranchers and farmers below Cortina worry about the smell and the garbage trucks that will rumble past their homes. Most of all, they fear the landfill will leak, polluting their downstream water. But because the landfill is on tribal land, these residents, along with California and Colusa County, have almost no say in the decision. Colleen Farini runs a community website opposed to the landfill. She says the landfill company is targeting Indian lands to avoid state and local regulations and community protests. That is a bad place to dump because the canyons are steep and the soil is erosive. That's how those canyons were formed. Anyone who understands the lay of the land knows that is a horrible place to put. It would be a horrible place to put a dump or anything because it would slide down the hill. David Atkinson, CEO of Earthworks, the Canadian venture that co-owns the Cortina project with a California company, says he is not targeting Indian land to avoid public scrutiny. And he says the landfill will be safe. Cortina tribal chair Elaine Patterson has said the development will be a boon to the band, though she declined to be interviewed. The landfill will bring about $15,000 a month in lease payments to the tribe and up to 5% of landfill revenues. Still, some Cortina members question whether the money is worth it. Vernon Wright's father, brother, stepmother, and aunt live on the land. Wright says many Cortina members don't want the project but are afraid to speak out against it. They really don't want to say anything because Elaine Patterson would come back on them because they live up there. They're against it, but they really don't want to argue with them, with anybody. So they'll just say, oh, go ahead. That's the only piece of land that the Indians, that we only really have, someplace we can really call home. They want to put it towards the back, but there's a, that canyon through there. And you get the breeze comes through there in the summertime around midnight or so, probably one. Summertime, it's a nice cool breeze comes through there. And I can imagine if the dump's back there and you get that breeze at night, you wake up smelling it. I just wish it wouldn't go through. But for now, the Cortina Band's landfill is moving forward. And in Colusa County, residents like Colleen Farini continue to fight. The thing that's relevant is that if there was a violation, an environmental crime, who would take care of it? That is the, that's the bottom line. Who would take care of it? We can't get an answer. For the Center for Public Integrity, I'm Bill Busenberg.